I'm Dave. I'm Derek. Five years ago, Dave and I met in science class freshman year. Our teacher gave us a project, but instead of an essay, we turned it into a short film. Four years later, we graduated high school, winning eight first place awards in local film festivals and even two national competitions. But while we watched our friends depart for college, we decided to depart on an adventure of our own. This, this is, is our story. Six months. I'm on a trip to Canada. Canada? Canada. Yeah. We're officially out of the south. It's less we're out hot. Of the south. We escaped. So now that we're in not terrible weather, it's gonna be great. We're gonna die. That it was, was a mess. Worst. Ah, status report. It just started raining. Why is the world like this? A little bit miserable. We had the worst time last night. It is midnight. Just saying that the engine stopped working because I'm probably going to give you food poison and try to kill me or something. And then the headlights both blow out at the same time. There is every pothole every three steps. And then the roof leak. Fuck that entire coast. We're going to have like yesterday to happen. The tire exploded. We're running low on supplies. Started having engine problems. Why would you ever go to that coast? What's wrong with you? Something nice. What did you do? Oh, uh, you know, work. campsite in Georgia and hopped on the interstate. We were headed towards Atlanta. Well, we have officially hit Atlanta. The highway to hell has started. Right now we are on one repeat, so it's the first go. We'll see how many times we have to listen to this song before we're out of Atlanta. Let's get back to you. We're starting to lose our goddamn minds. <laughs> Waterfall, so I guess we're just still kind of playing it by ear. This whole trip is by ear, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the one thing that's preset on our on our journey is the caves. Caves! Oh my god, it's playing again. It's for the time. time. No, no, not like this. From that point forward, Georgia was fairly easy to escape. Uh, we headed up through Atlanta and then into the bottom of Tennessee. Pretty much the only eventful thing that happened between there and Tennessee is that we stopped at a Walmart and restocked on our favorite tea. Arizona green tea. It's fucking vaporware! We forgot to make a video for entering Tennessee! Fuck! Well, we got the pictures. I guess it could be worse. Alright, we got pictures. Yeah, we have pictures. That up there is our first mountain. Derek! I... I am sorry, alright? I thought it was a good idea. It keeps banging the door. So remember the angry pot of noodles we made last episode? <laughs> Turns out the camping site didn't have any trash cans. So when this shot was taken, it was actually sitting in the back. We 
We stopped at a gas station and I found a faucet and thought I'd wash it out <laughs> to be helpful. And uh, the reason that washcloth is on the door is because I thought I would just let it dry in the air. So from my perspective, we're driving down the road and I hear, bum, 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 bum. I'm like, we have a flat tire? They're shooting at us? What's go what's going on? I, I look out the, the rear view mirror and it's just, this is cloth just fucking I'm worried it's gonna escape. That's the thing that I don't want. I need that, we need that washcloth, man. We only have a few. No, we're doing it. Yep. We have stopped on the side of the interstate because of the freaking washcloth. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we made it to, as you can see over there, Lost Sea Adventure. Eric, how you feeling? Ah, uh, pretty Doing good. Doing good, man? Yeah, we're, we're alive and well. I think that is actually probably the most driving we have done in one day on this trip so far. Dave? Yeah. You ever seen any Jason Bourne movies? Why do you ask? He'd be a great cameraman. <laughs> These next shots are so shaky. I'm sorry, I had to scale it out a bit just so we don't make our audience talk. I don't need your criticism. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. What kind of camera is that? So, uh, Sony A5000, I believe. Is I'm it? Is it like a new camera? You can flip this up and down. Oh, I like that. Yes, yes it is. Oh, right. cool. You have a channel? What, what's uh, the... So, let me tell you guys about how we accidentally gave him a channel that didn't exist. Um, this is the first time we've really been, like, I guess recognized in the street. Before then, we were just some dudes with a camera, and it was that moment we, like, became YouTubers. Yeah, we were like, oh. They were like, hey, you guys do YouTube? And we were like, ha, 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 it's funny you mention it. Like, yes, also, we don't actually have a channel. <laughs> we are like, yeah, we have cameras. Yeah, we're, we're YouTubers, we can edit. So where's your channel? <laughs> so we gave him a channel that didn't exist. But it's still not as bad as what we did next. You'll hear about that in a minute. <laughs> hey, you guys have a good one. Yeah. All right, now uh, I think we gotta hurry up because otherwise we're probably not getting into this, but. Yeah. Oh yeah, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta run. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I just thought I'd get this out of the way. We got our rock from Florida. I found this ages ago. I sent to put up a picture on it when we found it oh, on the Instagram. I have had this thing for like months and I've been waiting for the right moment. So here it is, ladies and gents. We're gonna have this oh, wait, plunk down. Rocks there. Right? That's good. I like that. Well, here goes. Florida rock in Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get a picture for the Facebook. Awesome. Hurry up, dude. Oh, come on. We're going. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. There you go. Thank you. Good to go. Thank you. Come on, let's go. Oh, look at this, all right. Big spooky tunny tunnel immediately. I'm gonna take the top of my head off. It's like, it's cold here, I like it. This is cool, are you recording? I've been my foot in this night. That's what that's called. All right. All right, so it turns out we actually did have another camera with us on this adventure. It didn't show up in the first episode for very specific reasons you are now seeing. It doesn't have any audio. It's a GoPro, right? I brought the GoPro because I thought get some pretty cool cave shots. I had seen like hiking videos, but turns out caves are pretty dark. So literally all of my footage was unusable. It, literally all of his shots were just a black grainy image that occasionally you'd see a little flicker of like someone's phone or like a little light in the cave or something. Other than that, it was just, it was just, <laughs> and then just, just static. It was fantastic. Oh no, there's hiking, man. Oh no. Ah. Rest in pieces. It turns out caves are pretty cold. Also, you have to hike around in them. You know, with like a, with like a jacket. I had shorts. And, and real shoes. Shorts and flip flops. It's a cave flower. Six of those in the world. Oh, there's a doom hole. What a place. Look at that. Here he goes, trying to get the shot. So the tour group started leaving from one of the cave we were in into a different cave, and I turned around and Derek wasn't there. Hurry up, man, they're gonna leave without us. He's taking goddamn forever. Oh, he's taking pictures. Max's cavern back there. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy hell, all right. Well, that's terrifying. 
So we tried to get a picture of this massive cavern using flash, and for any photographers out there, we had long shutter. This is what happened. It was actually just that dark. Like seriously, the fucking abyss. Speaking of the abyss, what happened to those demons from last episode that we summoned? I uh, flushed them down the demon disposal. Uh, if you enjoyed the tour, my name is Wesley. If not, my name's Ryan. So our tour guide's name was Wesley. Wesley was a really, really good tour guide. He was so great that at one point he just got up and left the entire group by ourselves. He didn't come back. Ever. We still don't know what happened to him. <laughs> if you want to talk about yourself, tell jokes, I don't care, tell stories, it doesn't really matter. He's going. He's, he's going. going. Also, his jokes were really bad. Alright, so this area that we're standing at right now is actually one of the only granite deposits throughout the entire cave. So if you are very, very quiet, you can actually hear music playing. It's hard rock. <laughs> oh no, it's going. The nights grow at a rate of about one cubic centimeter every 1,000 years. Now, if you are going to take any photos, as I stated before, they do grow pretty slowly, so one should probably be enough. It's going. Now, as we are heading down, if anyone feels themselves beginning to fall, please call out Wesley so that I can jump out of your way. It's going. Now, whenever I was first training, they were telling me to call this call a killer. But here in the South, everyone knows that a pillow is what you lay your head on at night. It's going. Before I told everybody oh, about stalactites and stalagmites, this is a stalagmite. <laughs> <laughs> I never said good jokes. It's going. Damn. Look at that. We're going on a, an adventure into Sketchville. I did it. I did it. I touched the water. You can feel the magnesium in it. That's brutal. Hopefully my hand doesn't come off. That'd be bad. So there came a certain point where we got into the lake part of the cave. And we had to wait. We later found out that that's because somebody literally passed out. And out of nowhere, these four-wheelers just come up with like a stretcher. We have no idea where they came from because we just walked down basically the only path into the cave. Cave paramedics. Pretty handy. They got paramedics and stuff, so I got to tape whoever that is back together. Hopefully they're okay. Oh, these are these are floating docks. Shit, man. Okay. Spot on. All right, let's go. Oh, we got boat cam now. All right, so uh, if you would like to stick your fingers into the ordinate knot and sink in the water on the right boat route, um, they are not new to the lake. Turns out the lake was actually big enough that they could have rainbow trout that lived underground, underwater, in the lake. They were kind of pale, but yeah, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't a rainbow exactly. It was less like a rainbow and more like a sad, very sad gray. Apparently, I have sunglasses huh? on. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, those are a thing. Uh, All right, David. Uh, I got it working. Oh, nice. All right, since we're back to the world of the living, always oh, doing the monkey bars. So after we came out of the caves, uh, we wandered around the gift shop for a couple minutes and used the rest of our camera battery like just absolute geniuses. And then the kids immediately approached us. Of course, asked about our YouTube. The and one that we had. We didn't want to disappoint them, so we tried to be like cool YouTube person. So I went on my phone and I'm like, I have a bunch of YouTube channels. And I kind of knew which one we were going to use already for the D-squared show. So I'm like, oh yeah, look this up. Look this up. Look up Idiots Abroad. They should not have never looked up Idiots Abroad. <laughs> and they wanted a cameo. And you know what that means? We get to use the GoPro. We get to use the fantastic GoPro. The rest is history. All right, we just, we just, uh, what? I don't want to say, okay, you're here. driving. Why, why All right, shut up. Ah! Alright, well, there's some technical difficulty. We just came out right. of the Wasi Adventure, one of the uh, coolest caves I've ever seen. How about you? Uh, that was the most scripted question ever. 
apparently it's the biggest underground lake in North America and the second biggest underground lake in the entire fucking world, so that's awesome. The plan is as follows. Uh, it's a pretty uh, screwy plan. <laughs> We're heading towards a place called Ozone Falls for dinner. Um, hopefully it's not too dark by the time we get there, because it's already 8.20. But we're gonna go to this waterfall, and we're going- Fall off the edge, because it's dark. We're gonna take all of our food with us and cook there, because why not? We're gonna take not? all of our food with us and jump off the edge, because it's dark. It's really becoming a ritualistic suicide. After that, I guess we'll look out for a state park or something and try to park for the night. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, it sounds like a plan to me. Kids, the Idiots Abroad YouTube channel. It had one video on it. One video? He's sending a video ah! to private, right? He's sending a video to private. And in case you want to know what that video is, roll the clip. <laughs> gentlemen we are out here overlooking suicide gulch hopefully we'll have a picture of that a nine o'clock central e uh, eastern time central eastern time i don't fucking know what cet stands for dude but anyway we're here overlooking suicide gulch which you literally can't see but there's like a 150 foot drop behind me into a waterfall that's what the water sounds are like i said we're gonna eat at a waterfall we're eating at a waterfall even if it means we're doing it when it's fucking pitch black out and we're gonna get eaten by like velociraptors I i'm sitting here with a can of pepper spray in one hand and a light in the other while this guy cooks, hoping that we don't die before I get to at least to get, eat my final meal. It'd be fantastic. So if you're wondering how I'm managing to cook food on the edge of a waterfall, we have a butane gas stove. This is probably the single best investment you can make if you're actually going to try to live in a van or go camping for an extended period of time or something. On a $2.50 can of gas, I could cook at high heat for literally an hour. I think it took us a week to cook through like one. Yeah. Five or six meals. Hey, I'm just sitting here watching you. This is some Gordon Ramsay bullshit. There's literally a 150 foot drop, like, Tender. It's more than that. It's, it might be more than that. Yeah, we actually can't see the bottom. We're just taking a guesstimate based off of like what the camera has picked up. Because I, I tried to take a couple pictures and kind of see down, but it's really I shitty. Oh, oh, we're good. At six each? No, six each. Jesus Christ. Dude, we got going. This is what we're dealing with right now. So it's currently 12:30 at night. Right, and for us it's actually 1.30 because we've left, uh, we've left Central Time, right? No, it's it's 11.30. So the point is, it's late and we have no idea where we're sleeping. But it's okay, I don't mind. So one of those nights, but you know what, those nights happen. So this was the first of many nights where it turns out we had no idea where we were going to sleep. So the original plan was that we were going to stay in a hostel in Nashville. Well, it turns out they were full. We only learned this at midnight, when we were going to go there. Fun fact, major cities like Nashville don't have rest areas within like a 50 mile radius of the city. They want you to buy hotels! Mother- Three hours later. What's up, man? Uh, so it's two, two, three in the morning for us now. Yeah. I have to try not to kill us, so if you'll give it just a moment. Um, we didn't find a place to sleep in. That over there is Nashville. Yeah, we made it to Nashville, and uh, we're trying to find a rest stop to sleep. But 
it as it happens. There might not be another rest stop until we get to Kentucky. It's like an hour out, it's not a big deal. Yeah, that's like four in the morning, dude. Man, we were in Georgia this morning. That's what I call progress. We made it to Kentucky. We ended up sleeping there the entire night. Um, when did you wake up? I woke up at 10. 7.45. Jeez, man. Anyways, the park looks lovely. Today is going to be the long haul day. Probably going to drive like 10 to 12 hours. So we're about to go take our picture and by the Kentucky sign and then we're going to leave. Hey, David. Hmm? You know what we should totally do? What? Search America for an outlet to make some coffee. Should we tell them? No. They'll have to find out at the end of the episode. Look at all this beautiful Kentucky corn. Matter of fact, corn. that's the only thing we've seen so far. More corn. <laughs> It's like Atlanta, but instead of traffic and maniacs, it's corn. It's the opposite of Atlanta. There's way, instead of way too much happening all at once, there's absolutely nothing fucking happening for 11 hours. It's just corn. Ah, more fucking corn. Corn. Take a picture in front of the Welcome to Illinois sign like we did with all there of There fucking isn't one! Other states, <laughs> there isn't one. Oh, uh, I left the lights on, fantastic. I left the keys in the van, fantastic. You left it running again, fantastic. I left it running? <laughs> um. Did I actually? It was a tow truck. Towing. A tow truck. Towing. A tow truck. <laughs> How are you feeling, man? This is, this is fucking awesome. You like in uh, St. Louis? That's a, a great way arch behind you. We're all gonna go see the arch, man. Spider Man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in fantastic out of focus. St. Louis? St. Louis. Alright, we're walking to the arch and seeing what happens. Take a look at that. God damn. God damn. We're walking on that thing. We're walking on the sketchy ass bridge? Yeah. Alright, sketchy ass bridge it is. Let's go. What we do for B roll, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. He's got, what a goddamn hero. There he goes. thing man right on these walls are actually engraved like a metric ton of things you can't actually read them unless you get real close it's really cool all right we're making our way back camera is dying we're sitting at a good two percent we just got the world's greatest picture you oh god one percent battery uh... this shit right here is the reason we can't have nice things I'm not even, why you like this? Well, well, as you can tell by the harsh shadows on my face and these thick Hollywood shades. Extra thick. It is extremely bright today. Like this is worse than Florida almost. Oh, 
we just went to the gas station and wasted about 45 minutes servicing the van because it was overheating. That's how bad the uh, heat is out here. We are here. We picked a place to stop, not for the night, but just for a little bit. That's the upgrade I got on the van. Those are deer whistles. They should keep the little bastards away so we don't accidentally run one over because that would be unfortunate for both parties. All right, and now onwards to the main event. What we got going on here, man? Oh, well, a mess. Oh, fantastic. Bacon, potato, cheddar, soup. Good so idea. Let's just, let's just get some a liberal oh, application of that in there. It's filet and salt. This is why we do spatulas. Oh no, right, tortilla right. chamuscada, yeah, está bien. Beautiful, right. work of art. Nobody saw anything. And now we eat uh, yeah. soup. So you would not believe, we just had like the world's fucking best dinner ever. Look at this guy, he's still like in a stupor. Yay! Okay, so. We never informed them what happened last night. Yeah, last night we almost died twice. Here we are in beautiful Kansas. Um, Kansas. Beautiful rest stop. Just look at all that natural scenery. Wow. So anyway, um, you you wanna you wanna go to the lookout to look at the natural scenery? Sure. Back to the uh, scenery. I, I'm feeling like I need some coffee, man. Yeah, I think I can go for some coffee. But uh, there's there's one small problem. We don't have electricity. Well, I mean, I'm sure we can make it work. You no, know, I think I saw an electrical outlet inside. So what you're telling me is it's time. You have the extension cord, right? We do. I want coffee, man. Think of what I'm thinking. <laughs> well, I mean, I think we win number one award for most drugged idea. To reiterate the amazing plan, we're going to uh, go in there, with the goddamn espresso machine. And from there, we're going to try to make coffee in the rest stop, because technically nobody's stopping us. All right, we're ready to roll. This is the worst, best idea. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. I think they got us figured out. <laughs> this is so bad. This is me. This is my guy. This, at this point, this has become an advanced meme. It's the first drip, the nectar of the gods. <laughs> right. Progress. It's given us any trouble so far, so that's always good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make coffee at a rest stop. What the fuck? It's not the road. Coffee. Woo! <laughs> oh god, that's sweet. Here, take some wine. historic moment because from that point forward anytime we bootlegged somebody's electricity just to make coffee we give it the loving title of hobo brew oh hi i didn't see you guys there allow me to introduce myself my name my name is hobo joe founder of hobo brew coffee when I started Hobo Brew back in 89, it was just myself at a Kansas rest area. Now, Hobo Brew is sponsored all over the country. Check it out. Available at your local Wendy's. Hobo Brew Coffee is available wherever, whenever buy one of our own unique devices and you can set up shop wherever you please. Hobo Brew Coffee provides a wide selection of flavors, including granola bar, burnt coffee, and my personal favorite, Mistake. Home Depot. Not the Home Depot.
Hobo Brew Coffee is made with all natural, organic ingredients found right here at home in the USA. God, I need a job. Order your Hobo Brew today. up this episode. If you want to follow us on any social media, you can find our Instagram right there at the squared show. For more regular updates, because we're terrible about updating that account, you can follow him at... I don't update anything on my Instagram. Or you can follow me at at Interstate Gypsy on Instagram. And remember guys, until next time, keep on keeping on. Don't let the man bring you down. Peace out. <laughs> Any other memes? I think I'm out of memes. <laughs> Hobo brew.